You have great suggestions, and it's time to let them shine. So I coded your ideas into Minecraft. Let's see how they turned out. 80% of the people watching this video are not currently subscribed, and that means that you could very well be one of them. So if you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing. It would really help my channel out. All right, back to the video. All right, my friends, we're gonna kick things off in style with one of my own ideas. Have you ever wondered why you can obtain wool just by using shears in the form of a block? Especially when, well, if you kill a cow and you get leather, you get it in the form of an item, not a block, even though both of them are materials. I think you can see exactly where I'm going with this. Let's add a leather block to Minecraft. <laughs> That's right, a block made entirely out of leather. And not just that, you can dye it any color that you would like, as you would expect with dyes. I mean, you know, at surface value, it seems a little bit like a cursed item. But I mean, imagine the building possibilities. This gives us virtually unlimited colors in Minecraft. I can mix any colors I would like and get, I mean, everything. I mean, this would be awesome. And the more I think about it, I mean, I started this out kind of as a joke, but I kind of really want this idea in Minecraft. But alas, this is an idea that will probably never see the light of day, unlike this next idea. For this next idea, unfortunately, I could not find the original comment, but Andre suggested an Enderman head block like the Observer that activates when you look at it. You know, that is not a bad idea, and okay, there we go. <laughs> Endermen are frightening. But they're also really interesting when it comes to mechanics. If you look at an Enderman, they don't like it. What if we could turn that into a redstone mechanic? Oh, for me? <laughs> you shouldn't have. By the way, Merry Christmas. I'm recording this on Christmas Eve and we've got an Ender Observer. This is a block that activates whenever you look at it. And that is something that I think could be very useful in the redstone world of Minecraft. This guy is having the time of his life. <laughs> yeah, this is this is actually really cool. A little annoying, but very cool. <laughs> A little overpowered, but very, I mean, very interesting. I mean, this is actually really cool. I think, you know, something, oh, okay, well. <laughs> something like this, I imagine, would definitely take time to, you know, implement correctly. This is a very interesting mechanic, and I completely understand why it's not already in the game. But still, this is very cool, and great practice for PvP. Oh! I'm no redstone genius, but I mean, this is just one example of some really cool stuff you could do, apart from the, you know, weird looking door. Facial recognition. That's right. I can get in and look at my bad redstone. <laughs> Here's another fun idea. Minecart retrieval. Because buttons just aren't good enough. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of really cool ideas for this, but I'm just not a redstone genius, so I have no idea. Let me know in the comments how this could be useful to Minecraft. This next idea comes from Quackless, who suggested stomping. When you fall, the damage you would normally take goes to a mob or animal that you fall on. I really like the way that you guys think. I mean, new enchantments are always really cool, and stomping could be interesting. Time to go land on some stuff. <laughs> okay, so in theory, if I jump on this sheep, it should take a little bit of damage. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. I'm sorry, chicken. Hey, okay. You know, this is actually really cool. I could definitely see this being in Minecraft. I think it's really useful if you're being ambushed by a mob because as you could see, you can get the drop on them and that, that's really cool. That is a very good idea. Obi-Wan Kenobody asked, I love the name by the way, so much. I think woolly mammoths in ice biomes would be really cool. That is not a bad idea, not a bad idea at all. As you could see, the ice plains and the ice spike biomes are very lonely. They are very barren, but they don't have to be. We can add more mobs to bring more life to these biomes and make them more interesting when you actually go around them. I mean, sure, we've got polar bears. I think I just saw one over there. A little, little spooky, but what about a woolly mammoth? A big, gigantic mammoth of a mob. This is a beast, man. 
Oh, goodness. Imagine just being in survival mode. You've got your measly little leather armor on. You know, you're trying to watch out for powdered snow, and then you just see that. That is absolutely amazing. And you can get close. You know, you can be curious, but you got to be careful not to hit him. Because when you do that, oh, it's angry. It doesn't like it. But fortunately, it, you know, it's a... It's a big guy, doesn't really walk too fast. I don't really know what else this guy could do. So let me know in the comments how you think something like a woolly mammoth could be added. Because it definitely should be added. This is an amazing mob. And, oh no, uh oh! I've got a couple of ideas in mind for how we could implement the woolly mammoth into Minecraft. The only downside... They all have to do with making it a pet and taming it, but, I mean, it seems a little, you know, unrealistic given the size of the mammoth, but that's okay. I would love to see the fact that we could saddle it. Imagine being able to use it to navigate the lands of tundras with powdered snow. That way you could actually avoid it with a different way instead of having to have leather armor. That could be really cool, but also maybe the Ravager could be terrified of a woolly mammoth. So if you happen to have one near a village, the Ravager will not go near it. Just a couple of different ways it could be implemented. And also, I want to see what the smallest mob in Minecraft <laughs> looks like next to the woolly mammoth. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely crazy. Matthew's idea was dog beds so that they can respawn when they die or if they get lost. When the sun comes up and you have just fought in a valiant battle against zombies and, of course, Lost not only your villager friends, but even the sad ones, the pets, your loved ones, your best friends. It's a very sad event when that happens. So, it would be great to be able to respawn them using a pet bed. Something as simple as a pet bed would definitely make us have a lot less sad moments in Minecraft. And honestly, it would just be an amazing tool to have in general. If you've got a pet, place down a pet bed. That pet will link onto it like a villager does to a profession block. And that bed will then be theirs. And anytime they're lost or if they die, right click it and they'll respawn. Okay, I admit, in this case, it just spawns a dog. I mean, it literally just every time- Oh! Mr. Temple Statue suggested an idea for an enchantment called throwing. When you enchant throwing to your tools or weapons, you can throw them and deal damage to things. You know, that is not a bad idea at all. In fact, I think it would be really cool if you could throw items in general. Perhaps this could be the one and only enchantment that can actually go on any item in Minecraft. Let's say, for example, you are in the middle of battle and your friend just lost their sword or axe. It would be really cool to be able to just throw them a new one. I mean, that is a very interesting mechanic. Now, the idea is that it would deal damage whenever you actually throw it, but still, even the idea of being able to just throw an item to a, an ally, I mean, that could be really cool. And who knows, maybe even in single player it could be a really useful mechanic. Nope! Nope! Abort! Abort mission! As a side note, I mean, imagine if they could also throw their axes. That would be terrifying! Oh, well, oh, <laughs> how's it going? Oh. I know what you're thinking, and yes, I just realized it. Now, we have the Q button to basically do this. <laughs> we, <laughs> we didn't even have to add this into the game, because all we did was make it harder to get rid of an item. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Okay, for this last idea, I lost the comment. I have no idea who said it, but I know a lot of people say it. We need to add some sort of phantom repellent or way to get rid of phantoms. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> and now it is nighttime. And you know what? Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what that means. Everyone's favorite mob that was added in the mob vote, phantoms. They are annoying and pretty much the most hated mob in all of Minecraft. But what if we could make them better, or at least make them not nearly as bad? Oh, they're frightening. Let me go inside. Indoors. Sorry about this. <laughs> sure, we could sleep, but the villagers make it hard to do that, and they take the bed. So what if instead, you could make a phantom repellent potion? Now, I think it would be cool to be able to make repellents of any mob in general. So this is kind of one example of a bigger idea. But essentially, when you have repellent, the mob wouldn't attack you. In this case, you can see they're not really worried about me, unlike the spider. So you can just continue to mind your business and enjoy the show, because phantoms, when they're not attacking you, I mean, they're pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> you just wanted to come say hello. And then they noped out, because that's what the repellent does. This is actually a really cool idea, and it would be very useful. 
Well, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know which idea was your favorite. I absolutely love doing these types of videos. It's been a while since we last did a Your Ideas video in Minecraft. And it just so happens that these are some really, really cool ideas. Though I think I might be a little biased. My idea is my favorite. Leather blocks? I mean, come on. This is just really, really cool. The fact that you could basically make any color you could ever want in Minecraft, that could be incredibly useful. But again, let me know which idea was your favorite down in the comments below. Wow, you made it to the end of yet again another video. You're on a roll at this point, and it's for that reason that you are my favorite. So hey, look, listen, if this plan that I had for this week went according to plan, it's Christmas or any holiday that you celebrate on the 25th of December. And if it is, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, however you prefer it. Either way, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I thank you so much for giving me your time to watch this video. If you really enjoyed it, I prepared two videos for you that I think you're gonna like. If you click to the right, you can see how I gave Amethyst or an update for Minecraft, or to the left to watch my compilation of 50 of my greatest ideas from 2020, all in one feature-packed video just for you. But that's gonna do it for today. My name has been System Z, and you have been awesome. Thanks for watching.